Coach Norvell talked a lot about the event you guys had it yesterday evening. Uh, what what was it about from seeing on social media? You and several other players uh, talked about how special it was. What what did you get out of it? Um, as a team and individual, uh, I feel like our team got a lot of it last night. Um, last night, just um, going out, getting away from football, um, learning each other, and learning our teammates um, outside of football, and learning each individual um, person's story. And um, that was one of the most phenomenal things that I took away from last night was just you know the team bonding, but also just learning each person's story that's um, that I'm on the field with, fighting with every day. And I, ultimately, I think that uh, um, you know make us grow as a team, and you know that brotherhood that we talk about in climb. That's um, that's something big that you know we got done last night was just learning each other and um, just seeing what each other has been through. Hey, Janaris, was there a, what, what was the highlight of that event yesterday? Was there was there a funny story or something that happened that maybe you could share with us? Um, I I don't want to get too deep into you know each individual you know story that you know my teammates told, but like I said, one of the most phenomenal things that I that I took away from last night was just sitting around the campfire with my brothers, uh, my segment group, which is D line with um, our two coaches, Coach Odell and Coach JP. Just you know, hearing, like I said, hearing everybody's story, and you never know what your teammate or someone that's next to you is going through. Some people might smile to get through it, and ultimately, some of my brothers that was sitting in the room with me. Uh, their days be easier just by coming around us, and I found that out last night. I think he can hear. We got a Perry from Tomahawk Nation. All right. Kind of, you want to jump back in? I know you can do it. Uh, so something you talked about, it, the fact that, you know, you got away from football, like you didn't have to consider it. I mean, these last, like, you've been here for a while. You've gone through a lot in your time. How was it just to kind of take a breather and just kind of like reset that mind and focus on yourself? Um, I've been here going on, uh, this is my f fifth year, and I, I think I maybe did, we maybe did something like that once as a team. Like I said, this is something new that we haven't really done and. Like I said, to hear everybody's story, it was something new that, you know, some people felt like a weight was lifted off their shoulders, just being able to talk to their brothers about something that they don't open up. Some people said they never told nobody else but, like, their close family, like their mom, stories like this. And for them to sit there and feel comfortable enough around their brothers to tell us, it really means a lot and shows how uh, close this team has really gotten. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Hey, sorry about that. I don't know what's going on. Hey, just a quick question. Obviously, you guys have gone back to a four-three defense. Are you excited about the that being back in the even front? And how does that best suit your skill set? Uh, I'm very excited to be back down. Uh, Four, four man front um, with my brothers um, on the defensive line. Um, I think that me and Kendo have the versatility to stand up and also be down. But last year, you know, we was up most of the time and just getting back to something that we've been doing uh, a while. And you know, I'm just happy to be back in something that I'm very comfortable doing. You talked about, I guess, the importance of kind of establishing those connections, sharing your stories, some of that away from football. I guess kind of with that, how can that translate to football? If you have that deeper bond, if you know who they are more as a person away from football, like how can that change? Uh, like I said, the being brotherhood, like having your brother back, like when we out there on that field, if you, I feel like personally, if you know each other's story and know what someone has been through, that just only makes you tighter. And uh, you know, having your brother back on that field, and I feel like it'll translate over to you know just having each other back and just fighting for one another out there while we out there, um, you know, trying to win games. Change that you've undergone in five years before, saying that there's a guy in front of you that wants to get to know who you are that outside of football. I mean, 
outside the whole football aspect, how comforting is that as a young man to have like that uh, it's it's very comforting just knowing that someone looks at you more than just you know you being out there on the field. They actually care about you as a you know human being, as a person. You know, want to know your personal story so they can you know learn you better, know how to approach you, and, and you know know the things you've been through. So you know they can know how you react and why you why you reacting like this. Like knowing how to you know communicate with you. All right. You know, it's obviously you and, and Josh are the you know, leaders, you're the veterans of the, that end unit. There are a lot of young guys behind you. Who are some guys that are jumping out uh, to you, some young guys that are impressive? Is there anybody you've kind of taken under your wing to try to bring along? Uh, some guys that's in um, that defensive room that we try to um, that's you know making big strides from when they first got here is uh, Crayshawn Fuller and um, Derek McLennan. Those guys are you know trying to me and Kendall are trying to take those guys on our wings and you know show them the right way to go. We're still learning, so you know we learn together and you know try to get everybody on one court. Can you hear me this time? Yes, sir. That was sweet. All right, hey, uh, Coach uh, has mentioned several times about some of the young offensive linemen being impressive in camp, Thomas Schrader, Robert Scott. Uh, who else in that group has stood out, has stood out to you so far in practice? Uh, oh, snap. <laughs> the, transfer, the transfer from uh, FIU, he's really standing out to me. Um, he's been doing some phenomenal things. Um, give us good competition at practice. Um, like I said, my role in, is very versatile. Me and Kendall, are, we have a position that's called Fox where you do, you know, some dropping on um, fire zones and stuff. So uh, I, I might be dropping in coverage or I might be rushing. Like I said, mo most of it is based off of four down, and, you know, I'm just happy to be back on the field with my brothers and being able to get back to what I love. All right, thank you, Jerry. Appreciate oh, sorry, sorry. it. Last one will be Ira from Warcamp. All right. So it's not getting the buzzer. Um, Hey, Coach Norvell's talk a lot about uh, the need for intensity every day, not just one day or, or four days a week or five days a week. Um, have you started to see some development in that area? Of, of course. Uh, this team has grown tremendously with just coming out there with juice and, you know, trying to get the ball rolling. You know, when you had that juice, some people might feel down, and, you know, when your brother's intense and, you know, hyped, that can bring someone else along. And I feel like that's how we've grown as a team like that, just, you know, leaning on one another to get that, that fire and that juice. And ultimately, we get it from our head coach, Coach Mike Norvell. He's very energetic, and, you know, he, he fires that, you know, spark in you.